Uh, look here, Seth Halverson, the starter for Missouri, began the season as the Saturday guy and has worked his way into the Friday night role for Steve Beezer's club. Guarding, that's where you see that success start to take off. Strike three called, a strikeout for Halverson to begin his day as a speedy second baseman trying to get on here for Tennessee. Puts it in play and he is on first base. First hit of the night, a single in your home stadium, you get more comfortable with your crowd behind you, and you can see we're going on the road where you haven't done that in a while, could be detrimental for you as a pitcher. How about that aggressive base running right there on another single, but Missouri heads up defensively, able to pick off the runner at first base. But Tennessee still with a chance to take an early lead at Taylor Stadium. One and one now on Gilbert. And an out call there. Is that uh, batter interference? Well, we've had an interesting first inning, haven't we? That's the end of the inning as they picked off the runner at third base. Put in play, could be two, out at second. Quick turn, twin killing Tennessee. As that was really coming on for Missouri when the pandemic hit last year. Gets under that one. Playable in foul territory. And the first baseman, Lipsius, takes it. And they have just gotten better and better throughout SEC play. Pardon me, misspoke, had not been to the tournament since 2005 before Vitello took them there in 2019. And now, yet yeah, boy, pace running's been the story of this game so far. And he gets Russell swinging. What a huge strikeout for Halverson. Right back to Halverson. He handles it easily. Full count. And there's strike three called. That. Three, two. That is cranked into left field. Deep off the bat of Kiefer. And a solo shot to give Missouri a 1-0 lead. to hit. See this fastball. Dallas misses right over the middle of the plate, belt high. And Kiefer, really good swing on the ball and drives that ball to left field. Well, he has handled his pitching staff, and I think that shows a great deal of confidence from the head coach. He goes down swinging there to end the inning, but... Busy inning for Josh Day at short. Halverson avoids trouble after a two-out walk. To the former Missouri Tiger, Scherzer. His man rips one in the right field for a dugout. He's uh, number 31 up there in right field. And uh, Dallas looking to put away Veerling here. That would be a big strikeout for him, and there it is. Roped into right field. That could score two. Belt drives in one. Here comes another, and he's safe. A two-run single for Brant Belk, and it's Missouri who's coming up with the timely hits. Florida series back on April 17th. Fights one off, drops it into right field for a base hit. Belk looking to go first to third, and he's in there. On the ground, play at third base. They get the force at second, and that ends the inning. This week against Texas A&M, they... Scored 20 runs on Sunday. That is launched to center field, but it'll stay in the ballpark and drop in for a base hit. Runner was going, and he was fortunate that dropped. Volunteers. And he smokes one to left field to get the balls on the board. Knows it. Ball four. Halverson walks in a run. Second run of the inning for Tennessee this season. And he goes down swinging, an enormous strikeout for Seth Halverson. Mike Coletta goes down swinging. Bouncing back well after that uh, two-run third inning. He says, see you later to Luke Mann on three pitches. A quick and economical fourth inning for Chad Dallas. There's another one, and it is launched. Hit into a right field, but again, the wind knocks it down, and the catch is made. Another one that jumps off the bat, the throw to third, and they got him. A double play on another close play at the base. On the move, a dart from Kiefer out at third base. 
unconventional double play. Timing to make sure they're not fouling that pitch off and putting it in play. Veerling chased that time. It's another 1-2-3 inning for Chad Dallater as he has a 3-2 offering here and walks the leadoff batter. Runner goes, throw down is high. And no need to sacrifice to move him over now. Jackson Greer waits for a 3-2 and goes down swinging. Hit tonight. Go ahead, run as a board. That's lifted off the fists. Down the line into no man's land. It drops. And Tennessee finally comes up with a hit. Big pitch right here. And it got him swinging. Missouri is a Texas A&M having a lead. That's down the line from Brant Belk into the corner. Could be extra bases. Throw comes in from right field, and he's in there. Third base now. The 0-2 to Kiefer. Fights it off. Fair down the line. And that drives in the go-ahead run. Kiefer looks to stretch to two. He won't do that. But he does put Missouri back on top, 4-3. There's strike three looking. Down goes Morris. ...in a position to have a lot of runners on base and have a lot of runners in scoring position. There's another runner on base here as Gilbert, after the long battle, drops a base hit in the right field. That's probably what they're looking for. They'd love a similar type outing tonight. And he gets Lipsy is swinging high. That's a big strikeout. A mix of starting in bench rolls this year. He goes down swinging. Big strikeout for Weinbergs to strand two more. The Down goes Mann swinging. Junior college transfer in his first year at Missouri. He comes to Mizzou from Northwest Florida State and picks up a strikeout. Weinbergs, again, as a leadoff hitter, he does such a good job of being patient at the plate. Diving play by Mann. The throw not in time as Spence got the down the line, and Tennessee has the tying run on. Lifted into right field off the bat of Max Ferguson. A no-doubter off of the football practice facility roof. That was a shot, and Tennessee leads for the first time tonight. Ferguson, as Tennessee finally comes up with a clutch hit. See Kush leave that ball up over the zone just a little bit too much. On this right here. 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Coming in from right field, Kiefer makes the catch. CC play. It'll be the two-inning variety if he's going to come up with one tonight, and if he can sit down the Tigers that quickly and easily. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good night. At the time, made it 3-0 Missouri. That is lifted to center. A quick and easy inning for Sean Hunley. You're able to host a regional and a super regional, giving you home field advantage. Appearance tonight. Through the right side, a base hit. Looking to go first to third is Lipsius. Uh, he stays at second base after the wide turn. Quick throw down to first base. Close, and they got him. On the base pass, you see Booker get out, kind of leaning the other way. Heads up play by Coletta. <laughs> and I do. And that's why you really have to trust the call on the field. Strike three call. Kush comes back and gets the strikeout. Right back to Hundley. He snares it. Who had a go-ahead RBI later in the game, but one pitch and a fly ball to left field for the second out. And now Tennessee one out away from a comeback victory on a Friday night. Two and two. Morris to first. And that will do it. A come-from-behind win on Friday night for the Big Orange. 5-4 the final in the first game of this year.